Ladies and gentlemen, pilots, captains, and mechanics, welcome to Until the Last Plane. This is a little weird uh, strategy sort of management type game that puts you in control of an airfield and I guess to an extent the actions of your aircraft. It's um, it's still uh, a to demo thing, so I, I played through the tutorial. We're going to jump into the, well, the only level that is currently available, that is in Tunis. It's a six-day campaign. Uh, plane power, technicians, resources, etc. Squadron emblem. Sure, we'll stick a we'll stick a tiger on our plane. Uh, there it is, right there. It doesn't look great, but you know what? This is still this is still very very much a demo, very very much uh, a proof of concept. Hopefully, it's going to turn into a, a good full game at some point. But anyway. The High Command has entrusted you with the management of the Gasva Airport. Your mission is to support the land troops that need to advance to Tunis. During the first day, you should run reconnaissance to discover strategic enemy targets. Okay, that's cool. Victory, win at least win one mission per day. Defeat, lose all of your pilots. Funds assigned, $2,000 dues. Uh, at the moment, we have got six P-36 aircraft, and I do believe that it's one pilot to one plane. So that is good to know. Okay, uh, as I've already said, I've completed the tutorial, so I'm going to very much be tutorializing uh, a couple of uh, a couple of elements that we've got here. So, what have we got? We've got the workshop. We've got a workbench in uh, in this workshop, and in this workshop, we are able to craft different bits and bobs. As you can see, we're able to we're able to make all of this good stuff. We can go through all of our planes, but of course, our planes are are all in good in good condition at this moment in time, so we don't really need to worry about that. Uh, we can assign our technicians to reduce the construction time for those specific components but that's not necessarily a problem in the warehouse this is where we keep all of our goodies we got our spare parts we got our fuel and we got our ammo we can order it all in and if i order it in it's going to start a countdown timer before it actually arrives and then importantly at the headquarters we actually have a little bit of a tech tree to play around with and the tech tree is partial at this moment in time so there are uh, there are a few bits and bobs that aren't available but that's okay. That's not necessarily a problem. We can probably just about make do with what we've got here. Uh, we got the hangar. We already know the status of all of our planes. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, this plane, interestingly, is a scout plane. So we're going to use this for a very, very specific purpose. We can recruit more pilots. Oh, we can even get some P-40s. And they've got slightly different stats. We'll talk a little bit more about stats and what they mean as we go. It's not huge, but it kind of also is huge. Anyway, let's run a, a, a reconnaissance mission. Literally, this is kind of, I guess, like one one part of the game. You just sort of you just sort of forget about it. We're gonna spend three Take fuel. You can three. You can see that we've uh, we've got seven fuel up there. Uh, we used to have 10, so there we go. Okay, so the recon plane is going to fly across the sky, and it's going to determine exactly what enemy threats we will face over the course of the day. Uh, we've got a threat over here. We could very well have a couple of, uh, of additional threats. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. We will just have to wait and see. Do I want to order a bit more fuel? I tell you what, I think I might order a little bit more fuel. Yeah, disappointingly, if you order in bulk, you don't actually you don't actually get any additional any additional value. But that's that's fine. Okay, what do we got? Fight the enemies. Uh, minimum number of foes to kill is three. Wind strong, temperature high. Suggested plane fighter. I mean, obviously, we're going to be using fighters. We need to kill three enemies. I, I actually legitimately think deploying all six of my fighters might not be the craziest thing in the world but let's keep it to four because i want to make sure that we've got at least some people in uh, in reserve okay so as you can see everyone is taking off right now go 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 everyone is taken off everyone is taken off from this i mean i didn't think that this was a runway but apparently apparently it is okay so that's that now we're gonna go into the uh into the combat phase and i've got to be honest this is my least favorite aspect of this uh of this title thus far and you'll probably be able to see uh, exactly why in just a second but hey ho okay so we have three moves the enemy has three moves we can do three attacks we can do a normal attack which is going to move our plane forward to the highlighted silhouette there we can do a dive attack which goes down but also i mean it moves us left as well and then attack from above uh which moves us sort of back as far as i'm aware there is there is no sort of 3d element to to this to this play uh, it is very very much it is very much on a 2d plane so for example by doing this we uh we just get the enemy into our 
cone of fire, and then we're able to shoot him down. It's it's that simple. I, I don't really like it. I don't really like it, to be honest. I, I care much more about the management, uh, the management side of things. Okay, so similarly, how you've got, like, an attack pattern, you've also got a defense pattern. And in the defense pattern, you basically just do exactly, exactly the opposite. So we're going to do a barrel roll, sure. We're going to do a barrel roll again. And now we can't do another barrel roll. So that's a little bit of a problem. And if I move back, I'm going to get crushed. I guess we'll just move forward. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to take some heat there. It's pretty difficult to evade. It's pretty difficult to get kills, actually, if the AI isn't playing terribly. So there we go. Okay, my strategy thus far has just been sort of like move up. Move up, move up. Move left. And then he moves back. Don't understand the logic there, but I'll take the kill. Don't get me wrong. I'll very, very much take the kill. Uh, the interesting element is what happens when our pilots get back. We need to conduct some inspections. So we need to get some mechanics out to the plane, and we need to make sure that we're able to inspect what the heck is going on. Okay, you know what? Split. Split. We got him. We got him. We evaded. Excellent. It's just that simple. It's just that simple to evade, folks. It's literally just that simple. Anyway, uh, right. So we're conducting we're conducting an inspection. We failed the inspection. We inspected one bit of the one bit of the plane, and it turns out that it was the wrong bit of the plane to inspect. Okay, this is the this is the strategy here. It's a terrible strategy. Okay, we're never gonna go for the the the, the dodge back. My plane can't fly. Don't don't you worry about it. I don't think that we've lost any pilots yet. We're, we're in a good place thus far. All right, let's let's go for our tried and tested method. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's our third kill, if I'm not mistaken. I, uh, yeah, I don't think it was this easy in reality to do, but hey-ho. Okay, so I ward is lightly damaged. We're going to have to spend five spare parts in order to get that all fixed up. But it's pretty easy, pretty easy to get, uh, to get all sorted. Uh, E. Martin, you are literally yes, just in need of a little bit of ammo. So we're going to use one ammo on you, get you refilled, and then get you sent on your merry way. Wonderful. We're going to continue the inspections on this second aircraft over here. Our price... Whoa, a little bit of a collision there. All right, mission accomplished. We did it. Three enemies shot down, zero bomb bases, one promoted pilot, zero dead pilots, plus 20 morale, and a whole bunch of money as well coming our way, which is really, 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 really nice. Okay, Davis has been promoted. What does that mean? Plus 10 accuracy? That ain't bad, actually. That ain't bad at all. All right, all pilots return to base. Davis, you can get a little bit of additional ammo. That's grand. Uh, reconnaissance, we are going to do a little bit more reconnaissance, because why the heck not? It's, uh, f what, 3.30 in the afternoon? We might as well. Problem found. Well, hey, we got it. What's it going to cost us? Seriously yes, damaged engine? So we need to actually spend a whole engine in order to in order to get that repaired. Now, how many engines? How many engines did I just have kicking around? I think I had one. Yeah, so I had one engine in stock, which means that I'm going to have to build an engine. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build an engine. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to build an engine, and it's gonna cost. It's gonna cost a hundred, a hundred spares. Okay, you know what? Let's order some spares. I'll order. I'll order a hundred spares. I, I think that I'm actually gonna need it. I'm also gonna order five rounds of ammo. That's cool. And we'll immediately start construction as soon as we possibly can. As soon as our, uh, as soon as our spares arrive, as you can see by the little timer. Uh, above there. Now, we do have a skill point that's available. Durability of each aircraft is increased by 10. All technicians will work 10% faster. Increases accuracy of all pilots by 10. I don't know what this does, but let's let's go down the accuracy tree, the academy tree for, for now anyway. We don't have to necessarily commit to that, but hey-ho. Okay, what do we got? A bomb target. Now, suggested plane is an attacker. I don't actually think that we have... I don't actually think that we have... Yeah, we absolutely do not have any bombers we we do not have any any bombers these are these are fighters as far as I'm aware okay you know what let's stick out uh, Q Watson and a Powell I, I don't know how this is gonna go this could be this could go terribly wrong this could this could go terribly wrong 
And I don't need to upgrade. I don't need to upgrade Davis's accuracy. It's, he just stays there. All right, fine. Uh, also, yeah, this. Can we buy? Maybe buy two. Type buy two P40s. Sure, we'll give it a shot. Right, we'll give it a shot. We need to bomb the factory. I'm not convinced that it's going to be altogether too successful, but hey ho. All right, what do we want? Uh, faster reticles, but 25% of being intercepted. 50% chance of being intercepted. 75% of being intercepted. Okay, let's go high altitude. Bombs away. All right. Actually, fairly easy to do that. That was that was pretty that was pretty easy. Uh, I've not actually done that before. That was a that was a new experience for me. Let's. Let's go with a 50-50 this time. Damn it. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? That was a clear, clear hit. There was that was a clear hit. I I I don't know about that video game. All right, we get another opportunity to uh, to go for it. All right, sure. What? How was that a miss? How was that a miss? How was that a miss? That was that was a hit. That was two clean hits. Oh, I'm very very disappointed. Very very disappointed. Okay, you know what? 75% chance of being intercepted. Sure. Bomb dropped. All right, that one hits. At least we got at least we got it. Uh, and apparently we didn't even get intercepted. So all's well that ends well, eh? Also, apparently, apparently we just have uh, an obscene amount of an obscene amount of chances to bomb. Really? Another? Okay, all right. I don't know. I, I, this is not a very generous uh, targeting reticule. Also, I believe that this is a brand new plane for us, Six which is kind of nice. All right, it's another dodge situation. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Miss? Kind of a miss? Really? We're kind of stacked on top of each other. Given the fact that I was on top of that plane, I, I kind of feel a little bit, uh, a little bit hard done by. Anyway, uh, let's get this, let's get this crafted. Let's get this crafted. Let's get this crafted. Da -da -da. Engine, boom! Start the engine. Start the engine construction. Lightly damaged. Honestly, I think if it's just light damage, we might just be able to get away with uh, using spare parts yes, to to repair. So that's pretty nice. We have bombed the minimum number of targets, which is great. We got a brand new pilot coming in, L Sanders. It's late in the evening, go, go, which is go. why, which is why. Uh, yes, sir. Taking off. What? How? Why are we taking off? Why are we taking off? Why are we still doing the mission? Can I just let the the mission run out? Let the day run out? There we go. Mission accomplished. Okay. There we go. We were able to manipulate the game into not allowing us, or into allowing us to to get away without being shot down again. We got another point uh, available. What do we got? Uh, raise resistance for all pilots to 10. They will be less fatigued during the flight. All pilots control the plane better by reducing the penalty when there is wind. Uh, grids will move more slowly. Uh, yeah, that's actually not bad. I don't really think that I care about this at all. Fire resistance. Pilots are getting faster in bombardments. Uh, raise... Raise will for all pilots. Uh, I'm not really... Oh, Night Guard. Increases camp security at night by preventing marauders from looting resources. Scout plane is less likely to be intercepted. No more fuel is consumed for reconnaissance. Warehouse resources orders are speeded up by 10%. Okay. First of all, the grammar needs a little bit of work, but that's, that's fine. Uh, let me... Oh, this costs two skill points. Okay, I thought it was just level two. That's fine. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to buy anything at the moment, if indeed there's still some work to be completed in the workshop. Oh, we have to wait until this is this is done before finishing the day, even though the day has already technically ended by every meaningful measure. Can we not just skip to the next morning and assume that it's going to be done over the course of the evening? I think we should make that assumption, but apparently the game doesn't. That's fine. Okay. The road to choose must be clear. Today's missions will all have enemy armored vehicles as their target. Destroy as many as you can. Missions of the day, tank escort. All right. The head of a nearby village showed up at the camp. He says he's glad the islands have finally landed. Bring some gifts. Fruit grown by their farmers. Accept the gift. Yes, you accept the gifts and the chief of the village seems very happy. Uh, unfortunately, your men get a stomach ache after they eat the fruit. All right. And that's lowered morale by a little bit. Unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, uh, at the moment, there is no penalty, which is which is great. Cool. Let's go for some 
fighters here. Are we going to use two? Could we use three? We could use four. We could use four. This plane is taking heavy damage. This next mission will be its last. Really? I thought I'd repaired it, though. I thought I had... I thought I'd... Well, you mean I have to doubly repair? Okay, you know what? Let's just send out these two P-36s for now. Do I have to doubly repair aircraft? I have to repair it. I thought I repaired it on the... On the runway. Or on the... Uh, on the pads. Alright, what do we got here? Let's... Let's move up. Let's move up a little bit. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Hmm. I think we can get him like this, actually. Okay, interestingly... Okay, that was a... That was a dodgy shot right there. But anyway, the enemy's got a tail gunner, so we need to make sure that we don't come up right behind them. That is pretty important, actually. Alright. So, we are in as much of a dangerous situation as they are, really. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get a shot off here. Wow, we got loads of moves. Move forward. Yeah, it's close. It's close. I fumbled that. That was entirely my fault. We need to be coming up on, on either the left or the right flank. That that needs to be that needs to be amended. Okay, I I still feel a little bit peeved that I have to repair these planes again. All right, so we are gonna have to evade here. Let's go. Let's go left. Uh, let's dodge forward. Apparently, I can't do anything now. I I have to just I have to just I have to click that button and I have to just take it. That kind of feels bad. Feels bad. All right, we got a fire here. Do I uh, do I need to extinguish this fire? That is a pretty tragic yes, fire. All right, get on it there. All right, let's see if we can try and go back in the first instance. Left. Ah, that's right. Solidly evaded. Solidly, solidly evaded. Get out of there. Good stuff. Okay. We still need to kill foes. We are, yeah, we're lining up another couple of shots here. All right. Let's just follow. Let's just follow closely. Actually, I think that this is probably going to not mean that we end up dying. Yeah, this is a good, this is a good engagement here. And that's going to be our second foe. So that's going to be a successful mission as far as I'm concerned. That's very, very good. All right, 17 seconds of fire extinguishing. Uh, yeah, the the whole 250, 250 bucks to fix the airplane is kind of steep, to be honest, given that it's going to cost me, what, 500 to get a new one? So I could get a new one fairly easily here. All right, let's just advance. Let's just advance. Let's just keep... Keep... Keep safe. Oh, nice. Okay, so that is just at the edge of the, the tail gunner's range, but uh, but it's within my range. So that's pretty good. Okay, so this plane has actually been successful on multiple occasions and is coming back for a little bit of an ammo top-up, which I am happy, happy yes, to sir. deliver. Happy, happy, happy to deliver. So after you're done that, A Powell, get back in the sky go, go, go. and see what you can do. All right, even though we have technically finished the mission. Six o'clock. All right. I'd really like it if you didn't end up getting shot here. That would be pretty excellent. Keep going. And we did it. Yeah, we evaded. I wonder if we could get into shooting range. And even if we did get into shooting range, if we'd be allowed to shoot. I doubt it. Okay, what do we got? Three enemies shot down, zero bomb bases, one promoted pilot, no dead pilots, plus 20 morale, and 1,100, uh, 1,100 monies, which is pretty good. Okay. We still have the tank mission to do. All pilots return to base. That's fine. I, I'm gonna repair. I'm gonna repair this. Repair this. I, I think that we, I think that we should. I'm, I'm still miffed that we have to pay that price, but hey-ho. 
Okay, it's just literally just 250 bucks to repair it. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Let's get three... Let's get three missions, or three planes on the tank, escort mission. That's fine. One mission accomplished today. Let's get a second... A second mission started up. I'm gonna order a little bit of fuel. I'll order five fuel, sure. And we don't need anything else. We don't even need a second workbench yet. We're, we're actually fine. We're actually managing. Yep, we got him. Easy peasy. These these aircraft have a much, much slower speed. And so I think it's actually quite good for us. Actually quite good for us. Yeah, so we got four moves, they got three moves. Which I like a lot. Yep, I think that's good. I think that's uh I think that's real good. I think that is very, very nice indeed. Okay, so that is two enemies that we have already taken out. I think I'm probably going to order some more ammo as well. Let's, let's buy 150 more, more ammo. All right. Yeah, keep moving. I think that counts as a hit, actually. Believe it or not, yeah, that, ac that actually counts as a hit. Okay, so far, the sheer number of engagements has been overwhelming, to say the least. However, we have absolutely hit every one of our targets, so that's really nice. I guess this is called learning or something? It's never happened before. Alright. But to be fair, they do have a very similar... They do have a very similar strategy. I think that also counts as a hit. Yeah, that, okay. So the hitboxes are incredibly generous incredibly generous. If there's even a pixel over the wing of the aircraft, then then there's uh, then there's cause for the for the enemy to be shot down. Which is wonderful. I will do that. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take damage here. I am gonna take damage here. That ain't that ain't great. That ain't great, but you know what? We end up we end up taking a little bit of a hit. That's that's fine. I can just about tolerate that. Let me just quickly yes, diagnose sir. the fire. Uh, let me quickly just stick. Oh no, I guess I'm not gonna be able to do this. I, I think I need to help, because if I don't help, then there are there are problems. Oh, easy. What a bait. What a bait. What a bait. No more bullets. Well done. Yes, okay. Sir. Let's get you, let's get you reloaded. What do we got? We got five enemies killed. Holy cow. I think I deserve a bonus. I think I absolutely deserve a bonus for this. Yes, sir. All right. Honestly, I love, I love getting, I love getting more ammo to the pilots. That is, that is great. That means that things are going well. Things are very, very much going well. I do want to use tomorrow. I want to use my P40s. I think they're much better. I think they're much better anyway. Mission accomplished. Excellent. We could have got a we could have got a sixth because there was a mission that just became available. But to be honest, that was that was completely fine. Um we don't necessarily need to do any more missions over the course of today. In fact, I think I'm actually inclined just to let the day sort of run out, given that there are Oh, do we have to? Okay, we I guess we don't have to do another mission over the course of today. Because we've we've actually accomplished two missions, which is which is saying something, and therefore if we just let it run to seven o'clock, then that would be that would be great. How many planes have we got that are in danger territory at the moment? Three. To be honest, the only thing that we really need to concern ourselves with is is uh, is the pilots. The pilots are probably our most important resource, even though I've not actually lost a single pilot thus far. Looks like that looks like enemy planes. It's not. Thankfully, it's just birds. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what day three has to offer us, eh? All right, but yeah, we just need to worry about the the pilots. Okay, chief of the village is back. He has two of our mechanics to help build a wall, or sorry, a well. Uh, you decide to send them; they won't be available all day. Sure, you decide to send two of your mechanics. You recommend that they be careful and come back as soon as possible. They get on a cart with the head of the village, and you see them disappear into the dunes. Cool. All right, let's do some reconnaissance. We didn't actually need to do reconnaissance yesterday, given that it was all focused around uh, specific tank escort missions hmm fire resistance fire resistance is slightly higher ammo capacity is slightly higher maneuverability is slightly higher okay i actually think that this might be straight up 
a worse aircraft. It's a little bit beefier, but I uh, I don't really think I don't really think that I'm that enthused about the P40 over the P36. On the contrary, don't think I am at all. All right, what do we got? We got two missions. Two missions for today to clean up. That's okay. All right, attack the base or just some engagement. Okay, fighter and attacker. Let's start with this. Let's start with this and let's do... Let's do the two P-40s. Sure. On duty. On duty. Go, 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 go. Okay, so it's a little bit less maneuverable, a little bit slower. But I think that that could actually be an advantage when, when bombing Enemy targets. Oh, yeah. This thing moves like a... Like a brick. All right. Good shot, though. Good shot. It also looks a little bit a little bit funky in comparison to the P-36, which looks a lot better, in my opinion. From the top down, anyway. Okay. Enemies ahead. Oh, thank you. That was perfect. All I needed to do was move forward. I moved forward four times, and bada-bim, bada-boom. What do you know? We end up... We end up with a gorgeous, with a gorgeous shot. Okay, good stuff. Now, I think, how much, how much ammo do these things have? I, I don't actually know. I think it's two? I think it's, I think it's still two, Target on set. two shots. Okay, 50% chance of being intercepted. Bomb drop. Yeah, we need to be, like, super duper target at, Mayday. Mayday. Right. super duper, super duper specific with our bomb drops. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. Ready to bomb. All right. Let's go let's go higher. Let's go higher. Sure. I can I can hack it. And thank you. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that I thought that horizontal reticule was just going to disappear into nothingness and I was going to be very upset because I still had time, but I nailed it. So that's good. Okay. Attack the base. How many targets do we need to hit? Oh, only one and we got two. Minimum number of foes to be killed, one. Minimum number of targets to be bombed, one, two. All right. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Move to the side. Move to the side again. I think that'll... Yeah, I think that'll just make sure that I'm safe. I probably would have been safe if I moved up, but... You know, better safe than sorry, eh? Better safe than sorry. All right. We need to do a bunch of inspection. We've got eight available mechanics. There's... No more actually nothing that we really need to do with our mechanics today anyway because I seem to be hitting almost every single every single aircraft and almost every single bombing run feels really good to yes, be honest sir. seven parts to be repaired on Sanders yes, over sir. there let's get you back in the sky as soon as we possibly can although the mission is is almost done almost almost done to be honest I don't really think that we need more than two aircraft for a mission like this it's a reasonably small mission a couple of targets to hit couple of planes to destroy. M Hill has been promoted. Congratulations. That was your first mission as well. Uh, and we got a skill point upgrade that we can get. We got four skill points. Holy cow. All pilots control the plane better by reducing the penalty when there is wind. Yeah, I'll take that actually. And then I think I'm going to get expert diver because I think expert diver is probably going to make the biggest difference. I'm just thinking, right? I'm just thinking. Let's order some more fuel. Uh, I'm just thinking in terms of bombing or in terms of uh, actions that are undertaken, bombing is probably the most difficult action. So... We're probably best looking out for that. Okay, two missions that we can choose between. That's cool. I guess we can probably get around about three missions done per day if we're really trying, right? If we're really trying. Okay, escort VIP or fight the enemies. I, I don't think that there is actually any difference, though. That's the thing, is that I don't think that there is any difference. Sure, let's get three, three aircraft in the sky just in case. Uh, hey, that was a collision there, video game. That was a collision. That very much looked like the reconnaissance plane collided with one of our P-36s. Enemy plane! Alright. I really... <laughs> Where do I move to? The enemy's just gonna... Okay, move back. Surely that doesn't count. Surely that doesn't count! 
Surely that doesn't count. I was obviously on top. Oh, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay. I really hate the dodging interface. The dodging interface is, is, is garbage. Dislike it. Dislike it intensely. There we go. Easy peasy. Alright, I want to get more moves. I want to get more moves. Do moves just come with uh, new planes? I suspect that they might be. Alright, serious damage. Honestly, is it even worth us throwing all of this time and effort into diagnosing what the issues are? Oh, I think that's going to count as a hit. That counts as a hit. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. There's something wrong. Yes, your wing was tickled. That's the problem. All right, let's hope that it's a radiator issue. Keep on going. Nice. Yeah, there's pretty no way. There's, there's pretty much no way for the enemy to evade. Uh, just like there's pretty much no way for me to evade. But there we go. We still haven't lost a pilot yet, which is very, very nice indeed. We've killed the, the two people. That's a radiator problem. Okay, radiator problem is, is fantastic because a radiator only costs 10 bits of scrap or 10 spare parts in order to in order to manufacture, which is kind of nice. We got him. Not even challenging. Honestly, wonder uh, you know, worrying about the tail gunners in, in some of the bombers is is probably the the bigger concern that I have at this moment in time. Still have two research points available. I literally think that this is the tech tree that we care about. Like this is this this is the one, right? This has got to be the one. Yes, sir. All right, reloaded with yes, ammo. Sir. Get some scrap into you. Let's also buy a thousand scrap, please. So we can have as much scrap as possible going into the next day. Go, go, go. Uh, yeah, fine. All right. Then. We don't need to worry about it. Okay. Reconnaissance. Reconnaissance has got another 30 minutes. Let's do expert diver in the tech tree. That's cool. All right. And then we will go to the next day. All orders into the warehouse must be evaded. Evaded? All orders into warehouse must be evaded. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that, because that's obviously a lot of money that I spent on my 100 scrap there. That, that's ridiculous. Uh, but I don't think that there's actually anything else that we can do whilst we wait for this order to come into the warehouse. Uh, no. Unfortunately not. We literally just have to wait for a couple of seconds. Why can these orders not complete over the course of the evening? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, day four out of six, I believe. We need to get supplies for the newly landed army, protect our ships, and try to bombard enemy convoys. Missions of the day, uh, ship escort, bomb bombing ships. Okay. Uh, the local natives have returned to the camp to pay us a visit. They're bringing us a figurine as a gift. They say it's their lucky idol. Sure. It's very solid and carved in wood. You decide to put it in your HQ on the desk. A crate of supplies landed on our camp, probably parachuted in, but we didn't make any demands. Sure. Add 100 spare parts. Wonderful. Just random plane parts sitting around. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Ship escort. What do we got? Let's do... Let's do this first. And you know what? Let's repair... Let's repair some of those. Sure. I mean, we got plenty of cash, right? I don't think we failed a mission yet. This is very, very surprising, but uh, genuinely, I don't think we failed a mission at all. Let's order some more ammo. Let's order... Let's order 300 bucks worth of ammo and also 300 bucks worth of fuel as well. I don't think we're going to be able to evade this. On the contrary. We got him. Okay. That's the strategy. That's the strategy. If the enemy even moves one pip forward, then we can evade them. Which is why I just don't feel like there's much strategy in the attacking and defending thing. Oh, we need to be careful, actually, here. Yeah, because there's a tail gunner, I believe. Yeah, definitely a tail gunner. 
And to be honest, if this tail gunner had a slightly larger a slightly larger tail, then we would have been in trouble. But that's okay. Alright, we still do have bombing runs to do, I believe. Uh yeah. Ooh, yeah, that was that was a that was a bit of a misplay. I went a little bit too hard too fast there. Yeah, a little bit too hard, a little bit too fast, but that's okay. Uh, do we want any additional scrap? I say scrap. I, I've just... I've gotten so used to playing games that use scrap as a resource. Alright. Nice. Keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Yeah, we got him, we got him. I think we could have moved to the left a little bit, but I don't think it was worth it. I think that that's quite, that's quite acceptable. Yeah. I've uh, I've just been playing a lot of games recently that use scrap as a resource, so I guess it's uh, I guess it's no surprise that on occasion I do indeed mistake. There we go, good stuff. Uh, I do indeed mistake uh, mistake the the resource in the game for scrap. Anyway, I think I've got a good strategy to consistently get kills, at least on these big bomber type aircrafts. Uh, we just move up. We move up. We move up, and then we let the enemy do their thing. Then we have our two moves, which is kind of nice. And then the enemy does their last move, and then I just, like, come in at the last moment and get the kill. It made more sense in my head, but I feel like I'm seeing a pattern where... It probably shouldn't be that easy to see a pattern, but I, I feel like I'm seeing it. Okay, two planes that are out of ammo. Excellent. Honestly, that's fantastic. Three planes that don't have any ammo. I thought one of our planes got yes, shot sir. down. If they get shot at, does that not necessarily mean that they get yes, sir. taken out of action until I repair? Maybe, maybe not. All right, well, we got four kills. I doubt that we're going to get another one. We might get oh, one more dude. kill. But, uh, but I don't know. Also, I don't know if your Take rewards... I don't know if your rewards scale with how many enemies that you actually kill. Yeah, okay. There was there was a, an event moving towards the left, but hey-ho. That's pretty good. Plus 20 morale is pretty nice. I guess 100 is our max. That is... That is okay. I, also, is there any other point of doing, like, any other missions? I, I mean that in the... The nicest sense, but... I just don't know if it's worth it. All right. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. We just, we got plenty of cash. We got plenty of cash. I have no idea what the end goal is. And it doesn't seem like there is any penalty for not doing more than one mission a day. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Enemy down. Enemy down. All right. What do we need to do? We need to get two kills. To be honest, not that difficult. Not that difficult at all. Six the difficulty... The difficulty is evading. I can't do half the moves that I want to do. I am so surprised that that aircraft didn't end up shooting me. That is, that is a, a miracle. A miracle of modern technology. Also, we got one research point. What do we want to go for? Will. Uh... Sure, I guess it's probably worth getting light structure. Right, this is gonna be costly. Oh no, no it's not. The cone is much too small. That's cool. That's very, very cool indeed. Okay, and then we got this plane. Let's do, let's do the fast dive. The fast dive seems to, seems to really spook them. Okay, I don't know how we've managed to evade twice in a row. Like that shouldn't be possible. That shouldn't be possible. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got to do? Nothing really. We don't have anything else to do until... There we go. Dodge left. Move forward. Oh, actually, that might be a hit on me. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe that. Did you see... 
Did you see? That was that was literally half a pixel. That was literally half a pixel. Okay, now, you know, ideally I should be able to diagnose that the problem is with the wing, because that was the only place that was actually clipped. Uh, we're gonna do... Yeah, there is, there is no way that I escape out of this one. Yeah. Fire on board. It's a thing. It's a thing. We've killed, we've killed three. We've killed three, so it's okay. That's, that's, that puts us in a good place. All right. Fire. Let's get the fire sorted. There are three mechanics that we've got yes, sir. in action at the moment. Are we going to be able to get another plane up in the sky before? Yes, sir. Uh, we got the repair, by the way, for M Hill, which is cool. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get another one. All right, cool. Okay. Mission ended. All pilots return to base. Skill points are indeed available. Let's do... Let's do one more. Sure. Let's do... Let's do this. We might as well use... We'll use two planes. We'll use two planes. We'll use three planes. Sure. You know what? Let's do... Let's do it. Three planes. We got one skill point that's available. All technicians working faster. Is that necessarily something that I care about? I don't think that it really is, to be honest. I don't think that it really is. Uh, yeah. So, thus far, you've probably... You've probably heard my thoughts in... A variety of different ways but I'm not a fan of this combat interface and eventually I do think that you know there's gonna be a lot more a lot more moves on on different planes because at the moment I feel like I'm using the same three moves over and over and over again sure the p40 does have the fast dive which differs from the p36 ever so slightly that was a disaster that was a complete disaster there uh, but it feels like I'm using the same moves, and most of the time, uh, I get the exact same result, which is either failing to evade, or uh, or actually managing to get the kill. Move forward twice. Move forward thrice. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, those, those, those aircraft are super easy to shoot down. Super easy to shoot down. I also feel like I don't even need... I don't even need all of the the additional ammo that I've got and spare parts and stuff, so There we go another easy kill literally just move forward four times Certainly opening with the normal attack is is definitely the strategy. Okay. That's that's already us hit our, our quota there Okay Nice. Actually evaded. Actually evaded by just moving back. And again, that seems kind of strange because usually heavier aircraft, or it looks like that aircraft that I'm coming up against is slightly heavier. Uh, it looks like looks like it's slightly heavier. Therefore, it's probably able to slow down a little bit more than I'm able to. Oh, that's a shame. See, so the the range of the enemy cone there was actually slightly higher. Oh, I didn't get hit there? Okay, that's very inconsistent. Uh, but I was kind of expecting to take a hit there. Either way, the enemy's cone can differ in size a little bit. Okay, the enemy doesn't actually have any moves, so I think... You know what? Move back. Yeah, move back a little bit. I think that was the only way to guarantee the shot where I wouldn't end up either taking damage or moving my cone off to the left. No more bullets. We've had a very, very successful day of, of campaigns today. To be honest, I'm not really inclined to put yes, any more aircraft into the sky. I don't really think that it's worth the challenge. I shouldn't have reloaded you with ammo, actually. I'm not going to reload ammo on you. But to be fair, you're probably going to get back into the sky, but only ever so slightly. Yeah, and I can't call off the mission either, so... It's a little bit of a pain in the backside. Either way, you're going to get back in the air, but you're only going to yes, get back sir. in the air yes, sir. soon. Or, uh, or for a, a couple of a couple of minutes, and even if there is an engagement, I don't really think that I care enough about it to give it a shot. All right, let everyone come back. Two skill points are available. What do we got? Twenty percent less spare parts needed to build a component. Ammunition and fuel capacity of each aircraft is increased by twenty. I'll take that actually because a lot of our planes are so successful that they are usually coming back to fill up with ammo, and so therefore, if they can stay in the sky for a little bit longer, then. Uh, then that would be excellent. Okay, day five. Day five, day five. The penultimate day. 
The village chief. I don't really care about this 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 storyline, to be honest. But hey ho, the village chief sent a messenger. Looks like they found a wreckage of a plane crash in the dunes. Do you want to take the wreckage to the camp? Yes. Wreckage from a German plane is still in good condition. Give it to your mechanics and ask them if they can do anything with it. All right. I mean, that's cool. I'm interested. Yeah, we can, by the way, adjust the amount of fuel that we give our, our reconnaissance plane. Don't really think that it makes any difference, to be honest, but hey ho. Do we need anything extra? No. I think that we're fine for ammo. Can we buy any additional aircraft? No. We got two two aircraft, and that's and that's it. Three whole missions. Okay. I want to do the bombing. I want to do the bombing. I like the I like that stuff. Let's do let's do this. All right. Sure. Lots of aircraft, but it's it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. The weird thing is the weird thing is is that I I do like I do like bombing, but it is it is so much more you have to be so much more precise. When you're doing the bombing than when you're doing the Target the fighter attack. combat. Okay, you know what? Let's go for... Oh, yeah, slower reticules, but 37% chance of being intercepted. Yeah, so the percentage chance of being intercepted is now super low in comparison. Oh, my goodness. This is, frankly, sluggish. Bombs it's away. the most accurate drop I think I've ever done. Excellent. Pretty happy with that. How many... How many, uh, how many bombs do we take with us? Enemy plane! Oh, that was your first mistake, bud. Evade? Oh, gosh darn it. That was very close. That was very close. And if if, if a third dimension existed in this game, then, then we would have uh, we would have gotten away with it. But unfortunately, it doesn't, so we didn't. Say la vie, as they say. Alright. We know that in order to beat this plane, we literally just S split backwards as many times as we possibly can. Because we got more moves than it, I, I literally don't think that it just got the capability to move back enough times. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Forgot that we did actually have a fire. Alright, target on sight. Let's go. 25% chance of being intercepted. Let's go for a challenge. I say a challenge. Not much of a challenge. And we end up taking... We end up taking a hit as well. I cannot fight in this plane. We still haven't lost a single pilot, to be honest. That is somewhat remarkable. All right, we've bombed both of the targets. That's cool. Uh, the good news is, is that we're probably going to want to get... Yeah, how do I evade this plane? I, I don't think I can evade this plane. Yeah, there's no way that I can evade it. I, I literally don't think it's possible. The combination of moves just isn't. There's just no. There's just no combination of moves. I don't think, unless the AI like makes a makes a goof. I, I don't think it's possible. All right, let's go for faster reticles. Sure. What the heck, right? I mean, we've already hit our. Oh, that was close. That was very very close. Uh, yeah, we've already hit our our specified our specified targets. So we yes, might sir. as well go for it. Was that a brand new engine that you needed? Oh, that makes me unhappy. But it's okay. Wait, hold up. I thought it w I thought the number of parts was reduced. Hold up. What did my uh What did my uh da -da 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 tech tree? Oh no, that's that's going to cost us 2 points. Okay, you know what before actually building a brand new engine? Yes, sir. Before building a brand new engine and before building a brand new rudder or whatever, we'll uh we'll wait. Nice! I think that counts as a hit. Excellent. Good stuff. Alright. Three three bombards. Wonderful. Let's do some more reconnaissance. Take off. We got skill points. Uh, inspection time of damaged planes takes less time. Oh, we can only choose one or t'other. I didn't even realize. No, oh, that's... Uh, don't understand what the point is. But I guess that's okay. Inspection, fire resistance. Sure. Let's do that. Scout plane. It's just so useless. Just so useless. Also, I don't think that we've been marauded at all. Not yet, anyway. Which is kind of nice. We've also got more money than we are ever likely to need. Reconnaissance plane is just back. Boom. Boom. 
I'm a little bit I'm a little bit bitter about having to pay 250 bucks after already investing so much time, effort, and energy in repairing my planes. But hey ho. Okay, let's get 10, 10. And let's get as much scrap as we possibly can. Sure, what the heck, eh? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We're probably gonna be fine. Alright, 12% chance. Let's go for a 50-50, eh? Let's go for a 50-50. Oh my goodness, the reticule takes about a billion years to get to where it needs to be. But that's okay. How much how much do we need to do? We need to do two. We need to bombard two targets. It shouldn't take too much. Okay, we just need to S split relentlessly. Didn't think that that would have the the intended consequences or the consequences that it did end up having. Okay, I guess we need to. I guess we need to think a little bit. I've got one move. I, I don't think that either of these moves. Yeah, I don't think either of those moves are going to get me out of harm's way. They almost certainly would not have. This plane is seriously damaged. Okay, this has been a pretty dreadful campaign thus far. Alright, let's do... Let's do stay at altitude, sure. Honestly, the speed at which the reticule goes can actually be a little bit of a hindrance. Because it stresses me out that I'm going to miss the target. Because it's just traveling too slowly, you know? Alright, I guess we're just going to craft uh, a new engine. And I'd say what, let's buy a second workshop so that we can craft two things at the same time. Let's get five mechanics working on that. And we'll just get to work. We'll just get to work. Target on site. Target on site. Cool. Alright. Honestly, the reduction in the reduction in, in interception chance away. is really nice. I feel like it's very, very powerful. Man, interception man. seems to be happening very, very infrequently. I think that was the first. That was the first time that it happened on uh, on this run, on this mission even. All right, do we still have any aircraft in the sky? I don't think that we do. I think that this is. I think that all three of our aircraft are on the are on the ground at the moment. Yes, sir. We do thankfully have a radiator. Not enough technicians remaining. That's okay. We'll get them in just a second. Uh, do I have enough money? I think I do actually have enough money to buy a third workshop. Let's do it. Let's do it, and then let's craft a another radiator. Sure, what the heck? They only cost 10 parts anyway, so that's fine. All right. Let's get... Not enough technicians remaining. There we go. Good stuff. And then we will get... Inspection type. Oh, no, we don't have enough skill points. All right, fine. Do we want to do reconnaissance? Not really. It's not worth the fuel. We'll just let it... We'll just let it sort of ride... It's completely fine. All right, we got 50 seconds in two times speed, so like I don't know, 20 seconds yes, sir. remaining for the construction of the engine. I should have assigned more technicians to that, but that's okay. Five seconds left on repairing the plane. Everything is in a dangerous position, to be honest, at the moment. But that's okay. We still got 1,600 bucks. 1,600 bucks, which should be enough to get our planes doubly repaired. Uh, on day six, which I believe is the final day. All right, final act. By now, our people are almost in Tunis. Missions of the day, vehicle bombardment. Your technicians worked all night and managed to fix the enemy plane. Now it's on the operating line. New aircraft, BF-109E1. Cool, okay, so I can't buy any more of that type of plane. It kind of makes sense, given that it's a, you know... It's a, it's a German plane. Also, where the heck is my... Where the heck's my scout? Oh, this is just oh yeah, we're not doing a scout mission. We're just doing a, a brand new mission. Okay. Well obviously we're gonna we're gonna use it. I, I don't know what I don't know what abilities it's got, actually. It's the same. It's the same it's the same abilities. Boom and zoom, dive attack, attack from below. Yeah, okay, so that's maybe like one new ability, but that's that's hot garbage. Alright, fine. Take off, go. Repair, get you added. Repair, repair. Let's just repair everything, honestly. Why the heck not, eh? We can repair everything, bar one. 
Cool. Okay. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a weird group, but that's okay. It's gonna be fun to fly a new aircraft. So we need to bomb a minimum of three targets. I think that should be imminently doable. Ready to bomb. Oh boy, it's moving as well. Bomb drop. Nice. Good stuff. We don't actually see the explosions. But that's okay. Cool guys don't look at explosions anyway. Are we going to get to evade in our brand new... No, not our brand new. Not our brand new... German aircraft. Seriously? I That was such a misplay, honestly. What a chronic misplay. What a chronic misplay. All right. Two more bombing opportunities. Target on sight. Damn. What? Really? Really? Uh, that's a big old question mark there. I, I really thought that we had that. Again, it's so slow. The, the targeting reticule is very, very, very slow. Target on sight. There we go. Bombs away. Nice. Okay. That was number two. And then number three, we should have in just a second, maybe a little bit of evasion. Target on sight. Bomb drop. There we go. That is number three. Excellent. All right. Does the wind actually make any difference? I, I it might do stuff. Yeah. So what is it? Uh, minus maneuverability plus bomb aiming. Okay. Enemy plane. I guess it means. Oh no 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 no! This is my. This is my special one. How did... How did they get here? He's done it. He's done it. He's evaded. He's evaded the, uh, the enemy plane. Cool. Also, who's the pilot of this thing? F. Powell. Dude... Oh, yeah. We've got an A. Powell as well. How have we still not managed to, to lose any pilots? That is remarkable, to be honest. Bomb dropped. All right. Yeah. Disaster. Disaster of an evasion. Well, that's okay. You just throw the you just throw the die. You throw the die every time you're engaging in an evasion. Alright. I honestly can't believe that I missed a single a single drop on this mission. That is somewhat ridiculous. Target on sight. Given how slow the reticules are actually traveling. It's a good, it's a good reflex test no more than ammo. anything else, right? All right, no ammo on you. That's fine. No ammo. Yeah, it's doubly confusing, right? Because we have a P40 that I, or definitely. Six o'clock. Oh, nice, good stuff, good stuff. That's two of aids. That's two of aids. Excellent. Feels, feels good. Yes, sir. All right, we did it. Six uh, bombed bases, one promoted pilot. Excellent. Very, very good stuff. Yes, sir. All right, get back in the game. Let's go for scout planes are less likely to be intercepted because apparently that is something that matters. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's not going to make a single bit of difference. All right, we got more missions. Let's immediately go again, I guess. To the skies. Watch out. Ready Don't collide with my... With my new yes, crazy plane. Alright. Do we have... One... Of everything bar a radiator. Yeah. One of everything bar a radiator. Okay. Cool. You know what I think we might do? You know what I think we might do? I think I might order a few more parts. And then I might want to see if I can get like a redundant... A redundant part. Good stuff. A redundant part for pretty much everything. Okay, so let's get a cockpit. Here we go. Let's get a weapons. And we'll just get we'll just get extra. Extra of everything. There we go. Wind is still weak, so I guess that means better bomb aiming and negative maneuverability. Which is fine. You can just about tolerate that. Enemy 
I don't think it would have made a difference what I what I decided to do there. As I say, if the AI doesn't chronically misplay, then there's there's pretty much zero chance of, of evasion. Alright. Radiator, what do we got? Let's get another radiator immediately. So we'll have we'll have two of everything. That's the, that's the plan. Bomb dropped. Nice. Good stuff. I like when they're successful, they just say bomb dropped. They just don't they don't say target bomb. hit or anything like that. It's just just bomb dropped. Just bombs dropped. In fact it says bombs dropped, but they say bomb dropped. We'll never know. We'll never know. All right, I need more parts apparently in order to in order to get like a redundant everything. So uh, I think I'll order more parts as soon as my as soon as my current order comes through. Yeah, cuz we ain't got nothing at the moment. Target on site. Somewhat of a problem. Bomb dropped. Bomb dropped. How many have we hit? 5 out of 3? Yeah, we are we are flying. We are flying. Literally, 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 literally Ready flying. All right, that's number six. Yeah, we literally haven't lost a single pilot. Literally haven't lost a single pilot. Is it even possible to lose pilots? I guess if you're maybe sending them up with fatigue, it increases combat skill, skill involved resistance. I'm not sure that makes sense, but okay. Uh, and then stress, it increases if the pilot is defeated in combat. Skill involved will. Okay, I, I understand, I understand. So, more resistance is obviously worse, yes, but... Yes, there we go, get that yes, repaired, sir. and then buy a thousand parts, and skip forward. Uh, yeah, so, it's obviously, it's obviously worse. It's obviously worse. What are the stats of these, of these chumps? I still can't buy any other planes. I don't know. I don't think that it's worth starting a new mission because otherwise we're going to be stuck with it until until later. All right, let's cancel the order. I know that we were going to get a redundant everything. The fact that I don't get a refund is also pretty egregious, but that's okay. All right, seven o'clock in the evening. End of the day. What do we got? Missions accomplished. Thirteen pilots lost zero. Is that three star? You helped build the village well. Well, thank you for noticing. Thank you for noticing, and immediately we're kicked back to the game menu. That's that's it. That's the that's the story. That's what happens. We did it. We did it with the tiger, the tiger troop of P thirty sixes. Oh, it actually changes. It actually changes. Uh, it actually changes the stats of the plane: accuracy, maneuverability. All right. I guess that's. I guess that's why my my aircraft was maneuvering so bad. There you go. There you go. The more you know, folks. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this little uh, this little playthrough. This is obviously still, you know, very very much in its in its infancy as a game. I hope that it's going to improve because I like the management aspects. I couldn't really give a hoot about the about the flying aspects. Not my not my style. Uh, but if you're interested, you can check out the demo right now. It's uh, it'll be linked down in the description. So uh, so check that out if you're indeed interested. Uh, but on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode up. Thank you very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Orbital Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic Patreon support over at patreon.com forward slash Orbital Potato. Banana Nanana, Aurelio, and C Senpai are the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.